So now we are going to learn to implement the ordinary least squares regression from the first principles with PyTorch and I'm going to give you a very basic and basically a toy example to just show you how we can set up the ordinary least squares regression in PyTorch from the first principles. So now you can import torch, import torch.optim as optim, torch nn as nn, numpy as np and matplot.py plot as plt. Now the input size is going to be 1, output size 1 because essentially we, we are going to just have one x variable and one y variable and obviously we are more likely to have more x variables with real data but this is a toy example. Now num epochs which is the number of epochs we are going to set that to 10,000 and the learning rate will be 0 0.001. So now we are going to create a training and a test data set x underscore train and y underscore train and we are going to create a numpy kind of a data set so x for predictors predictor and y for response variable i create a variable model nn dot linear so from here nn i call the function linear for ordinary least squares regression input size output size which is basically which usually which refers to the size of the predictors and the response variable which is 1 and 1 in this case. I'm going to define the loss function in terms of mean square error. Again I'm going to call it from the same package. You can even use RMSC but mean square error is just more robust and then we are going to have a gradient de descent for the optimizer optim.sgd stochastic gradient descent model dot parameters learning rates and then for epoch in the range number of epochs so we are going to iterate through epochs we are going to feed in the inputs x train and we are going to convert so torch from numpy so we are going to con convert numpy to a tensor and same outputs model inputs loss criterions outputs and targets so basically we are going to compare the output with the target the output we obtain with the target so basically compare the predicted and actual y optimizer dot zero grad loss backward optimizer step and till we reach so for every 1000 steps we print the results so 1000 out of 10,000 this is our mean square error loss and we continue to till here and we can see the loss has declined now we are going to use this model to predict on our data predicted model torch from numpy x detach numpy and now we are going to plot x train versus y train which are our original data in y and x train comma predicted and predicted is the predicted response variable and that's something we had created before which we sorry which we obtained from here predicted which is the predicted y So, and this is the, pre these are the predicted data and as you can see they do seem to be tying in quite closely and anyway this is just a toy example so now you can see that this is how we would set up an ordinary least squares regression problem in PyTorch with first principles.